Guys, just before we start, we need to tell you something a little bit important. We have better access to their app, so please, we can, we can get you into mating season before it comes. <laughs> Using your time to pick another team! I like the camaraderie! It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who's going to pick? All right, judges. Anyone but him? <laughs> she has the mic. You want him? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have always dream about having a dog in my house. Unfortunately, I have no space. I have no money, and I have no time. And this is the, the problem that millions of millions of people have in, uh, around the world. For this reason, we made Woof. Woofly is the first result center that helps dog lovers connect with dogs who need love. Our sponsorship program virtually simulates an adoption, where sponsors pledge a monthly amount uh, to a dog of their choice for, uh, from our database, with a possibility to adopt further down the road. Additionally, Woofly online stores offer, offers dog products from local vendors. Every purchase made through our store supports local shelters. We are Wolf. We connect dog lovers with dogs who need love. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> All right. Um, so when I was a little kid, just like you, I used to dream about owning a dog. But I didn't have time, I didn't have money, and I didn't have permission. Now that I'm older, I have money, and I have permission, but I don't have time, I don't have space, and I don't have a, a commitment possibility to do so. Like us, there's a growing demographic of people who love dogs, but they just can't take them home. At the same time, both the pets and subscription industries are growing enormously. They're worth over $75 billion annually, with millennials spending over $200 a month just on their pets. Here is uh, the problem. Uh, overcrowded shelters uh, have to euthanize, I don't know, it varies in every city, but in our town, nine out of every 10 dogs just to keep their costs at a reasonable rate. Here's where Wolfly comes in. Wolfly is a, is a virtual adoption center where sponsors can uh, virtually adopt a pet, and we hope there's a day when all dogs can have a forever home. Until then, we are Wolfly, and we are here to connect dog lovers with dogs who need love. So what differentiates you guys from a shelter that does matching services at the moment? Great question. Um, so basically, uh, what you're talking about is actual adoption, is uh, going to a shelter and bringing a dog home. We know that's a very big space. There are a lot of players. Uh, practically every sh shelter nowadays offers that. What we are offering is more like a sponsorship. So you, uh, via monthly subscription, you support a dog from a local shelter uh, of your choice, obviously from one of our vetted shelter. And uh, without the commitment, uh, of sort of like having the dog in your house and having to take care of it. Uh, so this opens up a huge market, which is uh, especially young people who love dogs but don't have space in their apartments or their landlords don't let them have dogs or you know because obviously hashtag millennials we work a dozen hours um, so that's basically what differentiates us from that uh, we're giving you uh, the good and the emotional part of, of having a bond with a dog without sort of like the traffic of problems that a dog in one small. so the dog stays in the shelter yeah, yeah. So what happens when the shelter runs out of space because because they're not able to euthanize dogs? No, no, no. I, I mean, the idea is uh, to these dogs, they'll keep finding homes. Um, so basically, we're not trying to find the dogs' homes. We're just trying to help the shelters maintain uh, the current dogs. Yeah, and it's uh, uh, I myself uh, and my wife run a small shelter, 
and it's an operational problem because obviously you want to check in every single dog, uh, but you can't. So basically what we're doing with them is giving them a little bit of air. So okay, now you have a little bit of more money, you know, there's this whole community of, of people uh, sponsoring your dogs. So maybe you don't necessarily have to take in more dogs, but at least you don't have to euthanize them. What does the competitive landscape look like for this app? Like what's competing with it and, and what are they offering and how is this exactly going to make money and who's it going to make money for? Is this like, is all the profit coming to you guys and you but you're sharing back with the shelter operators? Um, so how much, how is this going to make money and what's the competitive landscape look like? <laughs> okay, um, so basically we have a short-term business model and a medium-term business model. The short-term business model uh, is we take a small administrative fee from every uh, subscription. Uh, it's pretty much just to keep us running. Uh, the idea obviously is uh, to incentivize larger donations as we go. Uh, and on the middle term, we have, uh, as uh, Brandon was saying, we have the online store. So uh, this functions in two verticals. On one part, we take a very small commission or a small fee from every transaction because we try to be as transparent as possible uh, with the fee that's given to the local shelter. And uh, on the other hand, we have a brand. We actually already have two brands on board uh, who will be pushing uh, special offers and coupons to our users throughout our store. So the idea is, uh, it's pretty much it's pretty open like the, the coupons can work either in our store or just like in, in, in a walmart or in any store uh but the added benefit of using it in our store is we have a very good bi like the onboarding process is very comprehensive and we can track browsing habits shopping habits so we can give very very valuable bi at a very low cost all right have you guys gotten any users yet or shelters yeah but i'm gonna leave that one to another one <laughs> all right this is your last question uh, we launch a social media campaign and we have a lot a lot of people that wants to help now <laughs> we have like uh, 200 <laughs> 200 mails we have a lot of retweets uh, we have people who want to invest and we find local ah we have press yeah. publishing publishing uh, articles about us. We have a lot of people excited to help and to make this, this thing real. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have in, in Mexico. How many? Uh, two? Three as of today. Two as of yesterday. Fortunately, three as of today. I think that's because like two and one is maybe, you know, a ten year in a couple of hours. Yeah. We can take one a day. Thank you, guys. Yeah.